So what's your favorite subject in school? <sighs> Dr. Kane was a real person. Is Jacob Kane a real person? Dr. Jacob Kane, the chiropractor. You know, according to Jasper Crable, the man, the myth, the legend of Glider Films, he is. And Mr. Crable based his character off a real man named Dr. Jacob W. Kane, who was a chiropractor in Moundridge, Kansas. But is this absolutely true? I am setting out to hunt about this mysterious doctor. Mr. Crable says he does not know much about him. After a quick Google search I conducted, I believe I found the correct man, according to all the evidence. Dying in 1975, this man had five children, two of which died quite recently and one of which still have two children, Michael and Edna, both living in Mound Ridge. If I can track down his family, possibly visit his grave, and do many other things in order to get a photo of him and more information, I may be able to track down who Dr. Jacob W. Kane really was. My first step was to travel down to Mound Ridge, Kansas, where I arranged a meeting with Michael Kane, Dr. Kane's oldest living grandson who knew him the best. He did not want to be filmed, however, I was able to pick up some much-needed information, which you will see shortly. Soon after my meeting, I arrived at Lone Tree Church. As soon as I arrived, I was filled with excitement. I was finally going to see his grave, and I felt as if I would have a broader understanding of the man. I stalked through the small cemetery, and soon I came upon it. There it was, near the front, Jacob W. and Fanny Kane. I had finally found it, and seen it for myself. Using Michael Kane's vital information, I was then able to visit Dr. Kane's old house in the cat-infested town of Mount Ridge. When I tried to break in, I got chased by a savage old woman with a yardstick. I swiftly left the property, yet I found that his grave and household were not enough. I must find a photograph. So I broke into the historical archives of McPherson County and retrieved his official personal file. This will hold all the secrets. It certainly did. A whole fact file came up. Two pages, not much, but certainly some. And then I discovered the Holy Grail, exactly what I was hoping for, a photograph of the man. The only known photograph of Jacob Kane, circa 1957. This was the actual Jacob W. Kane. I have accomplished my mission, yet there are more missions to come. This is Kurt Merst, signing out once again.